Hello and welcome back to the third and final video for Topic 9 Databases and this time we're going to be looking at SQL, Sequence Query Language. Um, in this video we will look at SQL scripts used to query data stored in a single table database. But what exactly is SQL? Well it's a type of query language for writing scripts to obtain useful information from a database. We will be using some of the SQL statements to extract information from databases this will provide a basic understanding of how to obtain and display only the information required from a database. For example, someone needing to visit a patient would only require the ward number and the bed number of that patient in order to find where they are in the hospital. Whereas a doctor or a consultant would need a list of the names of all the patients that they have care over. Okay, so these are the things we need to know as part of the syllabus. SQL query statement select. This is a way of fetching specific fields, columns, from a table and the query always begins with the word select. We usually select from, and we're selecting from a particular table, from identifies a table to be used. We can also select from where, so select the information from a particular table where, and this only includes the records arose in a query that match a given condition. Order by, this is a way of sorting the results from a query by a given column, either alphabetically or numerically. And sum, and this returns the sum of all the values in a field in the column used with the select. So select sum. And the count, this counts the number of records or rows where the fields matches a specific condition. Again, this is used with the select. Okay, so we'll begin with what is SQL. Let's, let's try and describe this a little bit better for you. So we've got a database, um, the doctor's database again. Databases use their own type of programming language. We've just said that. The language is known as Structured Query Language or SQL. Now in here, um, the data can be retrieved using commands. So I'm going to use, in this case, select, from, and where, for example. So select wildcard, which is this little star here stands for all the records from doctor database that's what this is here this table is called our doctor database where allergies equals yes so if we do that the only record which will appear would be the first one Philip Moroni that would be the only one selected look because that's the only one he's the only patient so far in this little database that has any kind of allergies so I'm going to build a database now um, I've written a little bit of code as to what my database needs to look like. So it's going to be one called My Shopping Cart Database. And I'm going to put some items in the shopping cart. So first of all, and I would recommend using Khan Academy to have a little practice with this. It's a brilliant, brilliant place to start. I'll put the, the link to the, um, to the website in the description because it is fabulous. So I'm going to create a table, a database table called Shopping and it's going to have an ID which is going to be our primary key yeah and this is going to be an integer just numbers it's going to have a name field which is going to be a text type and it's also going to have a quantity field which is going to be again an integer a number okay so there are our three fields in our shopping cart and in there I can store um, a unique ID I can store a name such as bananas and I can store how many bananas I might want, in this case four. So let's plug all this data, all this information into the data, into the empty database we've just created. I'm going to insert into shopping the values one, which is the unique identifier for the primary key, the name bananas, and how many do I want, in this case four. I'm all going to insert milk as my second item. I only want one milk. The third item, chocolate bars, two of those please, and the fourth item, bread. Okay, if I was to select everything now, so the wildcard again, if I was to select everything from shopping, it would list the bananas, the milk, the chocolate bars, and the bread, all in a little query table here, a little table of results. I've added strawberries to the, to the shopping basket. Um, and we're going to use two more words, where and order by. So firstly, so I'm going to select everything from the shopping database, the shopping table, where aisle is greater than five. 
and I'm going to order the values by the aisle column. Okay, so let's have a little look at this. I've selected all the items, everything that is greater than five. So the only thing greater than five, the only aisle that's greater than five, if we look down here, is this one seven and this one for strawberries. It's put the quantity in as well and it's put the aisle. So it's put them in the order of aisle. Next one, we've got some more items in the database. I've got apples in there, I've got toothpaste. So I'm gonna use count and sum for this. Okay, we've now got seven items in the database. What have I got first? Select count, this is the quantity, from shopping where aisle is greater than two. So where it's greater than two, we've got one, bananas, yeah, is on aisle seven. Strawberries is on aisle seven also. Apples is on aisle four, and toothpaste is on aisle three. The rest of them, bread and milk, yeah, are all on aisle two, and that's not that's two, not greater than two. So that's our first thing. Now, if I wanted to sum up, I would use the same as same again. Select sum quantity. Select um, quantity from shopping where the aisle is greater than zero. So that's all our columns. So we've got four bananas, four, one milk, five, six, seven, eight, nine, toothpaste, ten. Add the six apples, and we've got a sum of sixteen. So we could have in our trolley or our basket at the end of this sixteen items. So how many items we're going to get? Sixteen. Okay, we're towards the end, so we have an exam-style question. A motorcycle manufacturer offers various combinations of seat colours, engine sizes, and paint colours for their motorbikes. A table has been constructed, a little database table called My Motorbike. And this was set up as a single table database to help customers choose which seat and paint combinations um, were possible. We've got codes, we've got seat colours, black, white or brown. We've got whether it's 50cc or 125cc and we've got the different colours of the motorbikes and whether it's available in that particular colour. Yes means it's available, no means it isn't. Okay, so state the number of records shown in the table. Well the records basically the ones that are running horizontally. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Now, of course, the opposite of that are the fields, and they're the ones that are running vertically down the columns. So again, we start with code at one, going across, and we have nine fields. Now, finally, for part three, state with a reason if any of the fields are suitable to be used as a primary key. Well, the first one, code, has many unique numbers. So I put I would choose the code field because the information in each of the cells is unique. Yeah, unlike the rest of them. Okay, question two. The following SQL command was used. We've got select code from motorbike where C color equals white and 50cc is yes or um, blue is yes. So show what will be displayed. So let's have a look first of all. We have select code. So everything in the table under the code column we select from my motorbike. Okay? Now where the seat color equals white. Well this is this one here. That's white and that's white. But but then we've got and 50cc or blue. So here we go. Blue or 50cc. So both of those, yeah. So it can be either this combination, MK203, the model there, or MK204. So select code from my motorbike where the seat color is white and it's either 50cc or blue. The only thing that would be displayed because it's selecting the code is MK203 and MK204. Okay, and finally, question three. A customer wanted to know all the possible combinations for a motorcycle with brown seats and either black or blue paint colour. Okay, so let's have a little look at this code. Complete the SQL command required. Select everything from, well, what's the table? It's from my motto bike. So from this table where the seats colour is brown. Yeah, seat colour is brown. And we've got either black or blue paint. So and black or blue. 
So they could have the 50cc in black, but not in blue, or they could have the under, or they could have the 125cc in either black or blue. And finally, here are the things we should have learnt. SQL stands for Structured Query Language, the standard query language for writing scripts to obtain useful information from a relevant database. SQL scripts is a list of SQL commands that perform a given task, often stored in a file so the script can be reused. Select. Select an SQL command that fetches specific fields, columns from a table. From. An SQL command that identifies the table in, to be used. Where. An SQL command to include only those records or rows in a query that match a given condition. Order by. An SQL command that sorts the results from a query by a given column, either alphabetically or numerically. Sum. An SQL command that returns the sum of all the values in a field, a column, used um, with select. And finally, count, similar to sum, count, an SQL command that counts the number of records rows in which the field or column matches a specific condition used with select. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this particular topic. If you have any questions, please comment and I will um, get back to you as soon as possible. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I would be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.